Hi there, today I'm unboxing an adjustable monitor mount. So this particular monitor mount is by a company called Best Tech and it can hold two monitors between 15 inches and 30 inches in size. Also has two USB ports built in. Details are in the description below. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so we've got the instructions and it gives you an idea of how it looks when it's installed. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. Let me quickly show you the instructions you get in the package. All in English, pretty straightforward to follow. Step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, let me show the actual components you get in the package as well. Here are a couple of brackets that go underneath the mount, all solid metal and a bit of a weight to that as well. Got some clamps here that fit underneath so that sort of helps clamp the actual mount onto your desk. Now the actual mount itself, both arms, some plastic on there, on these areas, and the rest of it is metal. And even the bottom is metal. Got some cables coming out of it, so two USB cables and microphone and headphone jacks here and connectors just there at the front. Got the actual fixtures with it as well. So got some Allen keys, bolts, and some other bits and pieces. Okay, just to show, there's actually two methods of installation. So the first one is mounting a standing base. So the actual stand itself clamps onto your desk. Now the other method is grommet mounting. So you'd actually have a hole in your desk and it's attached and secured from that hole onto your desk to keep it firmly in position. So I'm gonna go for the actual mounting stand base. So I think that's more of a stand way of doing it. I don't really wanna drill a hole in my desk. Okay, so I've got the bottom of the clamp just over here. And at the base, what we wanna do is just tidy the cables so they go along the middle, like so. And then we wanna actually take the brackets, the metal ones, place them like so and attach them. So, screws we want are the A screws, just in this one. So four holes here, I'll attach them, and another four here, and I'll attach them with this. Okay, so brackets are firmly on now, no movement in them, so that's good. Next is the clamps. So, they actually go like so. So, B are the actual screws you're supposed to use. And if I place one in position like so, Okay, so the clamps are on now, secure as well, and very firm, as you can see. Okay, so I'm at my dining room table. I thought this is the easiest way to sort of demonstrate how to install. So, the clamps that I've attached onto the actual mount, they actually slip in just underneath. You just gotta ensure the cables are nice and tidy at the back. So it's as simple as just turning at the bottom. Okay, so the mount's now secured. If I firmly move, there's no movement at all in it, so it clamps down really well. And if I come down here, just to give a clearer view, there you go, that's it, attached to the actual table. Okay, so that's the front view with your microphone point, headphone point, and two USB points. And there's the branding on the front. This can sort of come off if you didn't want it there. Okay, so I've just changed the angle of the camera just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So here it is, and the arms are pretty 
pretty firm and I'll put a bit of weight on there and not much movement so that's good and these brackets here this is what your monitor actually sits on so you'd attach this at the back of your monitor and you've got the direction there up and with an arrow so that just sort of clips straight into the back here so an attachment slips in and then you've got the clip here to pull it out if you wanted to so if I push it pull it out and it just stays firmly in place so here's the other bracket so if I put that in the correct position Okay, so they're both attached now. So the next thing would be is to just attach the monitors onto this and then you can see it in okay, action. Okay, so here's the back of one of my monitors and you can see four screw holes in these positions. So obviously I take the actual mounting plate, place it in position and just screw the screws that you get as part of the packaging onto it. So gently put this through okay so there you go firmly in position okay so let me now take my monitor obviously with the bracket at the back Spin it around, just position it so it's slightly easier to put in. There you go. Fit it on now. So next what I need to do is tighten the back here so it stays in position. There's a bracket just here. It's obviously a lot of movement in there at the moment. Okay, so looking at the back here, we've got two actual bolts. One is to adjust the actual tilt, so this way, and the swivel on this one. So, if I tighten these, that'll avoid it from just slumping down. So at the moment, you can see it does stay in position unlike before. So it does work quite well. Uh, Swivel-wise, you can turn it like so if you wanted to. And once you've got the desired sort of position you want, just tighten it up, just up here. And there you go. Stays firmly in position. And you can adjust accordingly. I've got my to. two monitors attached now. One I've actually put into portrait mode as you can see there. And just to show, there's actually cable management just underneath there. So if I pull that off and then clip it back into place, cables can be tidied quite well. In terms of rigidity, it's very rigid. It's firmly secured. The only thing that's moving really is the desk. So it clamps really well. Okay. okay, so in terms of usage, I've actually got my docking station there, and that's the wireless keyboard and mouse receiver. Uh, my laptop's over here, and there you go, the two displays. Works really well. Couple of things to note, obviously, is rear space. So you're gonna need some space at the back if you're gonna wanna move the monitors quite back. So obviously the arm sticks out here. Or you could use the actual method where you drill into your table and you mount it from there. So you do have the option and flexibility to use it in different ways. Works well, and it's nice just to be able to have that flexibility and different options of working. So there you go. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.